and Coach Marsha. Today we are building strength in the hips, the glutes, and the legs. Grab some moderate to heavy head weights. We're gonna do a little bit of deadlifting so you can go heavy there. And also if you have it, a circle resistance band. Before we get started, remember to like and subscribe. So I see you again, ready to get warmed up. Let's go. Let's start with a little warm up. Let's stand legs wide, po toes pointed out to the corners of the room. Plie down, circle the arms up and around. Keep going just like this, core is tight. Come up on your toes at the top if you feel it. Get, give the body a good stretch. One more time around, stop at the top and we're gonna reverse those arms. Breathing, a nice bend in those knees. One more time around and let's side step, arm cross right here. A little toe tap, warm up that upper back even though we're really not gonna be working it today. We're all about lower body today. It's all good, march it out right here. Knees nice and high. Make sure you're breathing, pump those arms, get the blood flowing a little bit. And we're gonna step up and over the gate. Right here on the right, up and over. Other way, keep going. One more each side, then we're gonna reverse this movement. So right here, knee comes up and around. Warm up those hips. Those hips are getting a workout today. So we wanna get them all fired up and ready to go. One more each side. Sweep it up one more time, clasp your fingers at the top, press toward the ceiling, and grab your wrist and gently give yourself a nice side bend. You should enjoy, drop that bottom arm to the side knee. Breathe into this. Sweep it up one more time, fingers clasp toward the ceiling. Grab the wrist, pull the other way, gently drop that bottom arm. Got a good stretch. And let's just twist, give the torso a little twist. Nice and easy, let those arms swing. Come up to your toe in the back. Nice job, ready to get started, let's do it. I'm gonna set my timer for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, grab your moderate to heavy hand weights and we're gonna start with a deadlift. So you're gonna start with your palms facing you. Feet are shoulder width apart and we're gonna just let it slide down to your mid shin. Knees are soft, pull it up and squeeze. Again, ease it on down, flat back, stick that booty out, weights in your heels. Pull it up and squeeze those glutes. Blow it out as you come up. This is your deadlift. Really working the glutes and the posterior chain. Give it a good squeeze at the top. Flat back, gaze is out at the floor in front of you. Neck is in line with your spine, weights go down. Shake it out right here. We're not gonna use any weights for the next exercise. It's just a squat. So we're gonna be, again, feet hip to shoulder width apart. And it's an eccentric squat. So we're gonna ease it down for three, pulse and squeeze up. Join me here, down, 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 pulse and up and squeeze. Keep going, control it down and shoot it up explosively. Squeeze those glutes, hold and up. Keep it going so we could be holding a hand weight here if you wanted to. Knees are tracking straight ahead. They're not bowing out, flaring, not caving in. Nice, strong hips, strong glutes, strong quads. We are building muscle. It's one of the very best things you can do for yourself as you age. Okay, we're gonna grab our circle resistance band if you've got one. We're gonna put it just above the knees. There's a chance I should have brought a chair to hang on to. This may be a balanced challenge, but we'll do our best here. So toe pointing front, the ankle goes to the side of the room, out and in. Blow it out as you extend, feel that medial hip working, getting strong. It's a very neglected part of the body and because of it, 
it is an accessory to a lot of injuries, especially among runners and athletes. Stand up as straight as you can, foot is flexed, toes to the front of the room. Your breathing, core is engaged. Focus. And if you need to toe tap down, that's fine. Shake it out right here. We're gonna go the other way. Woohoo! You feel that in your medial hips. Focus, flex, and get ready to extend on the left. Here we go, out and in. Feel that resistance. If you have a set of resistance band, you can choose whatever resistance, whether it's light, medium, or high resistance, whatever is working for you. If you need a set of resistance band, I'll put a link below so you can check those out. They're so good for these kind of exercises. They're good for travel. Highly recommend you add some resistance band to your low home gym. After this, we're gonna take off the resistance band and we're gonna do some reverse lunges. Keep on breathing. Feel that side hip working. Nice job. Band comes off. No weights here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse the lunge, pulse it up, back down, and then come up. And if you've got a knee, a knee up for me, join me here. We're gonna stay all on the right. Lunge, extend, back down, pop it up, keep going, extend, down, knee lift and balance. If you don't have the knee lift and balance, I'll show you what to do. Pop. Just toe tap right there. All good. Extend, squeeze the glutes. And up in balance. Breathing. All on the right to start. Core is tight. Hold. Extend. Feel that front quad working. Shake it out. Get ready to go on the left. Woohoo. And again, here too, we could be holding some weights if we wanted to. We're just not doing it today. Get ready to step it back on the left. Reverse lunge. Here we go. Lunge it back. Up and extend. Back down. Knee up. Nice. Again. Extend. And down. Knee up or kickstand. Totally up to you. Breathing. Here's the kickstand. Here's the knee up. Nice job. All right, we're gonna grab our band. Again, put it back over just above your knees. You can do these two without a band, no worries if you don't have a resistance band. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a banded walk. So we're gonna flat back, stick that booty out, and we're in a side step. So the power is coming from that side hip. So we're not opening up, we're not collapsing the knees, we're keeping everything straight and strong. This is our banded sidewalk. Building that medial hip again. Again, flat back, booty out, knees are soft. You got it, keep going. Feel those hips working. So, so good. Nice job. All right, band comes off. Grab your heavy weights. We're gonna take it from the top. Here's our deadlift weights. Palms face you. Feet are shoulder width apart. Knees are soft, back is flat. Weight is in those heels. Sit it back and up and squeeze. We're not rushing. Back flat, up and squeeze. Let that posterior chain do the work. Blow it out as you lift. Nice job. 
glutes and those heels. Knees are facing front. Good form. Squeeze it up strong. For your reference, I've got my 20s today. Okay, put those down. We're gonna do that eccentric squat here, no weights at all, unless you really want to. Feet are shouldered, hip width apart. We're gonna set it back, we're gonna sink it down low for count of three, here we go. Down, two, three, pulse and squeeze. Again, controlled. Pulse and up, down, down, down. Pulse and squeeze it up, nice. Control it on down, nice and slow. Stick that booty out the back. Weights in your heels. Up. You're doing great. You've already done the hardest part and that's showing up, right? So hard to get started. But once you do, you get going and you feel great. That's what I always remind myself. The hardest part is the very beginning. Nice job. We've got our... Um, we're gonna grab our resistance band. Got our lateral leg raises. Goes just above the knees. Here we go, on the right to start. Exhale as you extend, foot is flexed. You're aiming that outer ankle toward the side wall. Work those side hips. They get weak and lazy and then we get injured. Not here we don't. We are building and maintaining our muscle mass as we age. You know, there's a correlation between long life and muscle mass, meaning the more the people with more muscle mass live the longest. That'll be us. Keep going. Breathing. All right, shake it out. Get ready to do the other side. Whew. Give those hips a little twist. Oh, get ready for the left. Here we go. Foot is flexed. Knees tracking forward. Toe is facing the front of the room. Ankles to the side of the room. Load out as you extend. Knees are soft. You don't have to lock either one of them. And we're balancing, that might be the best part. I don't know what I love more, building muscle or working on balance. Those are two of my BFFs. I really love them both. They're so, so beneficial. And I'm gonna have something special coming up for you for balance, so stay tuned. I'm excited about it. All right, band comes down and off. A reverse lunge is next for the second round. Get ready to step it back on the right. Lunge down, extend down, and either knee balance or kickstand. Step it back, extend down, knee up. Extend, squeeze, down, or kickstand. This is good too. Works the balance, we love it. Step it back, squeeze it up. Knee up, perhaps. Or maybe you're holding some hand weights for a challenge. Step it back, squeeze. Blow it out. Keep it going. You're doing so great. Shake it out. Get ready to go on that other side. Shake out those hips. Whew. Your lower body's gonna thank you for this work that you're doing today. Get ready to step it back, here we go. Lunge it back, squeeze it up, back down. Knee, again, a little balance. Squeeze. And you're breathing. And we're not rushing. We're slow and controlled. And if you need to have a chair or wall near you, by all means. 
There's no shame in that as we work on our balance. The more you work on balance, the better you get. Our banded walks are next. So we're gonna grab that resistance band right here. If you've got one, if not, I encourage you to invest in a set. Whoa. Just above the knees. Knees bend down, weights in your heels, booty sticks out, back is flat, and here we go with our side steps. Breathing, core is tight. Let's try some stepping on the diagonal right here. Up and back. Other way, step to that diagonal, got it. Let's go back to side to side. Back is flat. Can you get low, diagonal? Diagonal the other way. Oh yeah, those hips, those hips don't lie. They feel this. It's all good. Keep stepping. All right. Band comes down. Take a minute here, grab some water, and I'm gonna meet you down on the mat. Welcome back, thanks for joining me down here on the mat. We've got a few more exercises for those hamstrings. We've got something for the core. Just got a lot of good stuff. We've got our last one is for the glutes. So if you have a bench, you're gonna put your mat, or if you're using a mat perpendicular to your bench, so we can lay and rest a foot on here. It could be a chair, bench, whatever, just something. So we can bring our foot up. And I'm gonna start my time. We're gonna start with some hamstring bridging. We're gonna move on to a reverse curl with toe tap. That's our core work. And then we're gonna do a plank sequence that is good to activate those lazy glutes. So let's get started. We're gonna lie on our back, put one foot on our bench, like so. You just wanna kind of shimmy your booty kind of close so that your thighs are sort of vertical. That's my rule of thumb. I'm gonna start my timer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press up with one foot on the bench Press up in a bridge, one foot bridge right here. Breathe, squeeze the, those glutes and down. Again, up. Keep going. Exhale as you lift, squeeze the glutes. That hamstring is working. It's all good. Your gaze is at the ceiling. Core is tight. Up and squeeze and curl it down. Nice job. Really strengthening that hamstring. All right, bring it down, get ready to switch. So the right foot goes on the bench, the left leg is gonna be free and pointing close to the ceiling. Get ready to bridge it up. Here we go. Bridge, squeeze, and down. And bridge, keep going, nice job. Ooh, could get some muscle cramps here. Got an ornery hamstring right here. <laughs> Says what? What are you making me do, Marsha? Really feel the tension in that glute and hamstring, contract and lower. Nice job. Press your hips up. Breathing. All right. Feet come down away from your bench. I'm gonna scooch a little bit back. So we're laying on our back. Shins are tabletop, legs are tabletop position. Shins are parallel to the ceiling. What we're gonna do is reverse crunch and then tap, tap. Join me here, reverse crunch. Toe tap, toe tap. Exhale as you curl up. Just peeling that tailbone up, working those lower abs. Tap and tap. Nice work. Give those hamstrings a bit of a break. Tap, 
tap, nice control here. Your arms are at your sides, but you're not putting weight in them. Curl, nice work. Now we're gonna flip around to our plank. I'll show you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go to a forearm plank. Just like so, press through your heels. We're gonna lift up one foot, up, out, in, and down. Join me here. Up, foot is flexed, out, in, down. Alternate, up, out, in, down. Make that glute work. Keep your body as aligned as you can. Nice job. If this is not in your wheelhouse, feel free to put your knees down right there. Up, out, in, down. Extend, out, in, down. Keep going. These get old really fast. Good core challenge here. And so good for the glutes too. It's a small movement, but you sure do feel it. All right, let's get ready for round two. We're gonna flip it around, get back to our bench. Mine's kind of wonky. Scoot yourself close. Get ready to press up those hips. Hamstring glute bridge. And down. Press up and squeeze. Got it. Don't forget to breathe. Press it up nice and high, squeeze. Keep your knees aligned with each other. Breathing. These are building up a sweat. Are you getting sweaty? <laughs> Those hammies work, make the glutes work. Nice job, get ready to switch. Right foot goes on the bench, left foot is up swinging free. Get ready to press those hips up into the bridge. Here we go. Squeeze it up and lower it down again. Up and squeeze. Keep going, keep breathing. Let that hamstring contract and relax. And if you get a muscle cramp, it's not unusual, trust me. Gaze is at the ceiling. Nice job. All right, bring it on down. Carefully get away from your bench. Lie down on your back. Tabletop position, shins are parallel to the ceiling and get ready for that reverse curl, tap, tap. Here we go, curl it up. Tap and tap and again. Tap, tap. You can leave your head and neck on the ground. We don't need to crunch them. Just working on those lower abs. Peel and tap. Nice and controlled. Keep the small of your back down on the mat as best you can. Nice job, we're gonna switch it, roll it up, switch it around for that plank. Whether your knees are up or down, totally up to you. We're gonna get on our forearms, align the body nicely, press through those heels. Okay, up, out, in, and down. Keep your body as aligned as you can, shoulders over your elbows. Press through those heels. Try not to make those, let those hips ride up. It's not a big movement, but if you need to put the, the knees down by all means. It's all good from here. Extend out, in, and down. Extend out, in, 
down. You got it. Those glutes are working hard for you. You're doing so great. And we are almost there. All right, so I did not lie. We were almost there. That is your hips, glutes, and leg strength workout. I hope you loved it as much as I did. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.